Assalamualaikum guys This is a lecture for MIT 5 to 9 I'm going to talk about Staffing and scheduling So the the big question is Why you need to learn about staffing And scheduling So just imagine that you just got Promoted as the lab manager So as a lab manager Among your duties is You need to select and assign the lab staff According to available tasks In the lab First is First question is how to hire the needed lab personnel in the lab. Number of lab scientists, phlebotomists, clerks that are needed. And second, how to create a duty roster for the lab. Example, to operate the lab on Saturday, you need to do staffing and scheduling. First, staffing. What is actually staffing? It is the process of determining personnel and job needs by recruiting qualified staff, matching them with the proper job, and training them to do the work assigned. Goal for staffing is to ensure that the lab has the appropriate personnel to deliver a timely and high quality service that meets the needs of its uh, patients. Issues and factors that might affect the staffing goals include types of personnel available, number of personnel available, did they receive enough training, and variation in personnel needs. Second, scheduling. What is scheduling? Matching the people now working in the lab with current workload requirements. Goal of scheduling include to ensure that someone is in the lab to process the specimens when they arrive. This is very straightforward. Issues and factors that might affect the scheduling goal include types of personnel the lab have, type and volume of work, we are talking about the level of workload, and the workload, the workplace itself. For example, the facilities provided and the extent of automation. Common types of work scheduled for diagnostic lab. We have traditional. This uh, we're talking about forty hours work week. This forty hours does not include yet the lunch break. And five days on two days off. This. Uh, depends on the company policies because some company uh, they spread the hours uh, so they can uh, have six days per week. Second, we have alternative work schedule. Number one, compressed work cycle. This is the one of the most commonly practiced exclusively in uh, medical lab. We can observe this in on call where the staff will work a normal. Uh, shift eight hour shift today another eight hours until the next morning and then they can go home flexible working hours this is also becoming more and more popular this uh, we are talking about the flexibility of clock in and clock out for example if you come work come to work one hour late so you need to return home one hour extra and etc laws of Malaysia we use employment act 1955 on section 68 talking about hours of work except as hereafter provided an employee shall not be required under his contract of service We're talking about your rights here as a worker to work more than five consecutive hours without a break this can be the example you are on you are only entitled to work five hours straight and then you need to have a break more than eight hours in one day 
in excess of spread of a period of 10 hours in one day more than 48 hours in one week this again depends on the company itself some company will fully utilize 48 hours and some will only ask the staff to work for 40 42 it depends on their policy nine steps in preparing a schedule first select type of schedule this depends on uh, your company preference establish staffing levels and requirements develop staffing personnel pool determine format terminology and schedule keys again depends on personal or company preference set posting time frame very simple depend on your preference to choose one month or weekly timetable six prepare skeleton stage skeleton stage here we're talking about the draft which includes weekend staffing holidays or staff that already applied leave complete the routine scheduling stage by filling the schedule fill in gaps again um, we can plan as much as we want but they are going to be uh, staff we will be taking MCs and uh, leave so we need to get back to the schedule and modify it again and then post the schedule okay as a conclusion for this topic we need uh, appropriate number of staff for each lab bench or duty that have proper training and they need to be fully competent to cover all shift 24 7 sound easy doesn't it but uh, there are a lot of uh, consideration need to be made for example staff scheduled for duty not competent yet to do their job or wrong number of staff hired too many or too few the issues of staff not coming to work on long maternity leave or MCs how to maintain employee happiness versus departmental needs and all these uh, errors in doing a schedule can impact the quality productivity loss staff frustrations and turnaround time cannot be met 